This is the day after Labor Day. Labor Day, according to some people's idea, is the last official day of summer holiday. People usually go back to work after Labor Day in September. However, it's a warm day after Labor Day. It's about 90 degrees and up in Fahrenheit. So it's really a very hot day in September, the day after Labor Day. I promised to show you the difference between these different certificates, certificate of birth registration. And as you can see, I hope, if I would stop shaking so badly, it says August 19, 1941 somewhere in all that print. That is what a certificate of birth registration looks like. A lot of people haven't seen those documents. So nowadays, they have another type of document that is a legitimate birth certificate. This is what a modern birth certificate looks like. And I hope you can read the birth date there if I'll get my finger out of the way. I mean, I don't want to really give you the finger. It says August 19, 1941. That's my official birthday and make sure that you collateral, collateralize, collateralize and uh, monetize this document. So that's what a modern birth certificate looks like because nowadays you need proof that you were born to get a driver's license and to get a passport and even for employment. They want an official modern birth certificate. Because if you show them a birth registration certificate, they get confused. Human resources gets confused because they don't know what a birth registration certificate looks like in many cases. I have an official United States passport. And of course, many Americans today are strangely jealous of almost everything. I have no idea why, probably because they're just plain immature and haven't experienced very much of life. But I've had people who are jealous of me because I have an official United States passport. And I guess at 74 years old, I should have such a document. Day after Labor Day. That is officially, for many people, the end of the summer holiday. For many people. This is an apple pie. And it's frozen solid. I'll have to take the apple pie over to my sister's and give it to her. Not that I would ever give it to my sister because she sent me a birthday card and I promised to show you the birthday card and she always sends sparkles. 
she always sent sparkles enclosed in the birthday card and they uh, the sparkles always get into everything the glitter see she put the glitter in there and the glitter uh, gets in the rugs and the carpets and people who get the glitter the sparkles in their birthday cards and Christmas cards end up having to pick this stuff up for years and years because it flies away by itself. So this is the card my sister sent me. She says, especially for you, brother. Especially for you, your birthday, brother. And she has a little doggy on it. And inside the card she says, Dear Ellison, wishing you everything you're hoping for because you deserve all that and more. Happy birthday. And she adds in writing, best wishes for a very special birthday. And I would like to treat you to lunch if we can get together. Plan on it. Best wishes. Good luck. Your sister. Thank you, sister. See? I appreciate it, sister. And she always sends these lotto tickets. Christmas and birthdays. She sends the lottery tickets. And, uh... I'll scratch them off in front of you later. But this is my breakfast. It's, uh, it's around noon time, the day after Labor Day in September in the U.S. of A. And I got my little American flag, which should be appropriate for the end of a holiday. So this is my breakfast. I, uh, it's not a traditional American breakfast, not like the continental breakfasts. This is orange juice, which is a traditional American uh, breakfast drink. Florida orange juice. The traditional American breakfast is uh, eggs and bacon, or eggs and sausage, or pancakes, flapjacks, with maybe egg, two eggs generally, or sausage. As the winter comes on into fall, We'll stop and have a uh, traditional American breakfast together. But right now, this is uh, a very untraditional breakfast. It's more a brunch, sort of a breakfast lunch. This is ice cream, vanilla. It's not that I don't like chocolate, I do like chocolate. But uh, for breakfast, my stomach is upset. Too much partying last night. Labor Day party. So I'm going to uh, just have vanilla ice cream. settle my stomach. So this is my untraditional post-Labor Day breakfast brunch. So I think if it's brunch, 
it's probably fair to uh, to have apple pie. It's very American, apple pie, motherhood, and the American flag. All very traditional. Cheers, Prosy. Prost. Salute. Have a good post Labor Day. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy your day.